Come on in now, welcome to the Wicker Bar. You know me, I'm the host of this video, Lord Zippy Blaine, the Duke of the Gosh Darn Mother Freaking Del Ridge. It's Friday, it's December 1st, we're on the countdown. The countdown is on for Rail and I's annual holiday party, social mixer, White Elephant, which we haven't done six or seven years we've been doing the White Elephant, something, something like that. Um... Last year, well, before I go any further, if you could just do me a favor, just take a minute, share this video with your friends. I need, I'd really like to have 500 subscribers by the end of the year. Got like 484 right now. It's Pledge Drive. Every two minutes, I'm going to talk about the Pledge Drive. Um, last year at our, at our holiday party, <clears throat> we treated our guests to a batch of eggnog that had been aging in the back of the refrigerator for a whole year. Absolutely delicious. It wasn't anything crazy. It was actually uh, recommended in the recipe that if you could save that for a whole year, that would be the best. It was absolutely delicious. And this year, we were doing a traditional um, uh, Puerto Rican holiday Christmas drink called Coquito, or similar to the piña, the pineapple. This is the cocoa, the coconut. So uh, Coquito is a little coconut. Delicious uh, Puerto Rican holiday, holiday drink. It's been, sometimes they say it's similar to eggnog. It's not really similar to eggnog at all, except it has rum and it's thick and it's rich and there's a bazillion calories in it. Um, supposedly, as, as the story goes, um, just rum and coconut water was a very, very um, popular drink down there in Puerto Rico. Um, and then I guess somehow for some reason... They got some uh, condensed milk in there, evaporated milk there in the, in the 50s. And the uh, Coquito was born and uh, I guess was a big a big hit um, <clears throat> in the 1970s. I don't know if so much so here on the West Coast, probably more of an East Coast thing. So I'm going to do up a batch of a uh, Coquito um, for our guests. And um, I'm going to do that and then we're going to take a little break. I'm going to clean up and then I'm going to, uh, being it is Friday, it is happy hour. This is the Wicca Bar. We are drinking cocktails. We are drinking four piece. That's what we're doing here. We're going to make this and we're going to take a little break, clean up. I'm going to make a little cocktail, um, for real and myself. Um, so there's a couple of these things. If you've, uh, Coco Lopez, there's a couple of different, uh, Coco, <clears throat> coconut creams that you can get. This is the one that I saw, um, recommended the most. If you've never messed with the coconut cream, it's really, really thick. So I'm going to get this in there. Probably with our uh, um, co coconut milk. That way it kind of whirs, whirs up nice. Um, so, what is this? 15 ounce can of uh, Coco Lopez. And it was actually a little bit less than the can. They also sell the Coco Lopez in a little less uh, squeeze bottle as well. Um, the Goya Leche de Coco, coconut milk. Two cans of uh, Nestle Carnation evapor evaporated milk. And we just need, um, how much was it? A half a cup? I don't even remember anymore. No, quarter of a cup of sweetened condensed milk. So that's not going to be very, very much of this. Another really, really uh, thick, thick and viscous thing. A um, couple of cups of uh, <clears throat> Puerto Rican rum. This is the best I could do for a Puerto Rican rum today. Um, Havana Club. Um, a little bit of vanilla and some cinnamon. Let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. That's so, it's like a big glob. <clears throat> I might even, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. If this starts to take too long, I'm gonna have to set the camera woman on, on, on break. Won't be able to pay her. I don't know why she came in. Coconut milk. Let's get one of these in there. <clears throat> and I, I've actually, I've never had this. Um, this is going to be the first year. I've started, I had the big batch planned, and then I thought, oh, maybe I'll just do a, maybe I'll just do a half a batch. And I figured, you know, people really enjoy it. <clears throat> and there's probably different variations that you could do on this if you were crazy and you didn't want to be um, a pseudo, a pseudo traditionalist. You could probably also... Um, use a little bit of coconut rum instead. Um, I know we have some Malibu. We don't anymore. But, you know, I think that that would probably be a, a fairly 
There's substitution. If you really like, <clears throat> if you really like the taste of coconut, there we go. Look at that. That is pure. Oh, there it goes. Oh. <laughs> You have to put this on a paint mixer. Get all that out of there. There we go. Mm -hmm. Got coconut. Now mm. oh, that is good. Mm. And not everybody likes the taste of coconut. And uh, oh man, that coconut cream is delicious. And my intern. <clears throat> intern didn't show up today. I'm gonna get all the uh, all this stuff mixed up in there, and then I'm gonna pour the rum. I've got a nice uh, big container over here that the rum's gonna go. That I'm gonna put put it all in and uh, get stuck in the fridge. And there's a lot of delicious things you make with this sweet and condensed milk, right? Dulce de leche. Carmelo. Oh, man. So and so. There we go. Oh, look at that. I mean, sometimes you just put this this can. Hmm. Oh, man. Ooh. You just put this can in the oven in a little uh, um, water bath. Low temperature. Cook that baby up for a couple hours. Oh, my God. What did I say? Quarter, Quar cup. quarter cup. It's 14 ounces. That's probably good. I think so. Mm -hmm. Let's do a little bit more just for measure. Let's see. Mm -hmm. That still tastes good. No, oh, man, that tastes really good. And that. Right? Oh. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Of course, when we went to Mexico, we always forget to get vanilla extract for ourselves. There we go. Oh, no, we don't. Winston the dog has um, balls hidden throughout the house, um, and he knows when he walks into a room that he has a ball. I guess it's like a dog that bury, buries bones. Um, I have to move some of my mess up here. Well, can I hand you a few of these and you can go throw those over that garbage over there? Bless you. Two cups, Puerto Rican rum. Most of the recipes that I, I I saw, most of them called for a light rum. There were a few that, that did call for a dark rum. And there were a few things saying that the uh, many, many Puerto Rican families have their own, their own special proprietary recipe for coquito um mm, which I don't have I suppose I could have uh, reached out some of my Puerto Rican pals but uh, hopefully they don't uh, tell me that I failed on, on my coquito there we go there's our coquito that's going to be sitting in the refrigerator for Make it a couple of days in advance if you have the time. At least, at least two days. 
we're gonna have it in there for about two and a half, uh, about two and a half, uh, yeah, about two and a half weeks. That's gonna be perfect. Hang tight. Give me a second. I'm going to switch gears from a little Puerto Rican um, holiday. We're gonna go up, go out, go up to Scandinavia. Gonna make a little cocktail with aqua vie. So just hang tight. I'm gonna get this cleaned up, and we'll be right back. Boom, here we are. We got everything cleaned up. Thank you very much, Rael. All right, we're going to make this quick. Um, we're doing a little aqua V here. This this cocktail is called King of the North. Um, actually, Rael and I, I know I always say that we don't ever do a cocktail more than once. I think we've done this one a few times, um, one of the past weeks, because it's very, very delicious. Um, simple, simple, simple. Little aqua V, lemon juice, orgeat, and a dash of our Angostura bitters. Should we just make this happen? I got to get upstairs. I got to get to be making dinner Friday. We got big, 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 big plans tonight. Big plans. Big plans tonight. That we're, we got decorating to do. So, aqua, remember, cocktail for two. We're going four ounces of our Aqua V. We did when we were in uh, Pittsburgh and Chris Godey and myself were wandering around. We did a uh, Find a little uh, local distillery that made their own aqua vie. Not quite as tasty as this. Uh, quite, quite as tasty as this. Um, we're going to go an ounce and a half of lemon juice. Actually, this might just be a little shy on the lemon juice. Oh, look at that. Ounce and a half of lemon juice and an ounce and a half of our orgeat. There goes that. <clears throat> a couple of dashes of our Angostura bitters. In, pre in preparation for our uh, our gathering, I have a. Uh, I'm in the process of making some allspice dram or drom, um, ginger syrup, vanilla syrup, and <clears throat> cinnamon syrup. Okay, sorry. I'm just have to talk about the stuff that I've been doing. It's not very interesting to the average person, but here we go. I did stick my finger in that sweet condensed milk a few times. Oh, that'll just like, ah, ah, ah. You're glad I'm a little ice cream. Piece of pound cake, shortbread. King of the North, because technically Santa Claus is the King of the North. Don't you <clears throat> forget it? Yeah, don't worry. As we get as we get uh, farther on in the month, don't worry. I have on good authority that Santa Claus will <clears throat> will be paying the uh, Wicker Bar a visit. Rail, would you care to join me? You're the queen, my mistress, queen of the north, queen of the Reich. <laughs> mm. It's a delicious, very, very powerful, and uh, dare I say, um, human cocktail. I was going to say masculine, but we, we all enjoy it. All right. Thank you very much for joining me here at the Wicker Bar. I know this has been a, a long video. Hopefully, you were able to able to sit through through it, and, and you uh, quelled a little something new. You learned a little something new today. Peace out from the Wicker Bar. We're drinking for peace until we meet again.